The year is 2003. You're sitting in front of your family computer, a desktop, waiting anxiously for the Neopets shop to restock. Your pet is hungry, your Neo points are limited, and your dial-up internet is painfully slow. Fast forward to today, you can now build this iconic game from scratch with just a few prompts using AI. Yes, you, the game master. This means you can invite your friends to play your game with you and secretly rig the systems. Your pet can have better accessories than everyone else. Else. And yes, you can hook up your BFFs too. Hey there, my name is Angel, and in this channel, we break down complex technology into simple, achievable projects that anyone can build. Many of you are curious about AI and development, but find coding completely overwhelming and intimidating, and you don't know where to start with all these AI tools. So I'm going to show you how you can build real projects using AI tools that are going to do most of the heavy lifting work. If you can type in English or any other language, language, today you can make apps, software, games. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll realize that you now have AI magic. Before we get started, can you do me a huge favor and help me give a like to this video or subscribe to this channel if you haven't already? 94.4% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Your one button click will make a huge difference for this small channel. Thanks so much and now let's get started. Back in the late 90s, when the internet was still finding its footing, Neopets emerged as something completely different from the simple games and chat rooms that dominated the web. Created in 1999 by Adam Powell and Donna Williams, this virtual pet website wasn't just about caring for digital creatures. It was an entire universe waiting to be explored. You had these adorable virtual pets that needed your constant attention. Unlike the Tamagotchis that came before them, these pets lived in a persistent online world. They wouldn't die if you forgot about them for a few days, but they would get very hungry and unhappy, creating just enough guilt to keep you coming back. Neil Pets created an intricate economic system that rivaled real-world complexity. You earned Neil points by playing games, completing quests, or visiting daily locations like the giant omelet that gave out free food. The economy had inflation, deflation, and market fluctuations based on player behavior. Some rare items could sell for millions of Neil points, creating natural lessons in supply and demand. I know this is going to date me, but I was in elementary school then and I remember me and my best friend at that time would be competing against who has the most new points and who got the rarest items and we figured out that oh this shop it's gonna restock at a certain time so we keep hitting refresh around that time frame and it was just so fun we spent hours in that game there was even a stock market where you can invest your money and watch it grow every single day kids like me and my ex BFF were learning economics principles through this game. Today we're going to challenge ourselves to build a Neopet game. I'm going to show you a very quick and simple way to kickstart your journey into AI software building. You can take a few routes when it comes to designing and creating software. Right now I'm just trying to opt for what's the quickest way to see something get built. So I'm just playing around with Bolt.new which is this website that I'm using. All you have to do is go on there and sign up for an account and you can start building your app through Bolt.news. I'm going to tell it to create a Neopets dupe for me called Bobopad because I don't want any copyright infringement issues. So I'm just creating an ability to feed or play with the pet along with a simple game. So it's like chatting with ChatGPT if you've never done it before. Over here is where you chat with Bolt and it's telling you what it's doing. Over here under the code section is where all the files are created. It's now generating some code for us. You can see over here what it's doing. It's creating the mini game and then and once it's done, you will see a preview of this Bobo pet over here, which you can then feed. And you'll see once you click feed, it shows you the heart rate and then the cookie rate. You're feeding it and it's happier and you can play with it which loses the energy. So it's decided for us that there's hunger level, energy level, and also happiness level. And you can play catch the target for 30 seconds. Wow, this is a lot. I am assuming that it's going to give me points. Over here, it says earn two points per target hit. But once I'm done with the game, there's some problem. So what happens when you see a problem? You'll see over here, there's a problem. Once I'm done with the game, I didn't necessarily get the point system. So if you click that, Bolt is going to fix the issue for you automatically. And now you should be able to start the game. How do I refill my energy levels? I noticed that 
there is no way to, for me to replenish the energy. So I'm asking Bolt to fix that for me. I added a sleep button that will increase the energy. And over here, there are Bobo Pet Shops. You can buy stuff. I just spent 50 points. When I click the buy button, I lost 50 points to buy these extra food. And all of these are things that you can work with Bolt chat back and forth to make sure that Bolt takes this into account. I'm going to connect to Superbase. Superbase is basically a database that also has authentication. I just click that and create an account and connected it to my super base, which I already have over here. And then I'm going to set up the auth in the account system. All I'm doing is just telling Bolt to create it for me. Basically authentication means like user can log in and sign up and have an account so that everybody has a different pet, right? You can create profile tables for user. And now I have a login and sign up button so I can come back to the same save point. Now I'm going to start doing four types of pets to generate these assets, you can use a few different things. For me, I'm going to go with Adobe Firefly because I already have an Adobe account, but you can also use Midjourney, Dolly, and a lot of other methods. We're just going to generate some pet in a style that we like. For example, if I like this unicorn, I can use this as a style reference and make it so then it's like a fox pet. And then it will create something similar that you can then use. I'm going to look up the penguin that I like. And then over here, I'm just going to remove the background of my photos. I am telling Superbase to create the buckets over here under storage, which will allow me to upload the images, the pet images into there. You should be able to see this pet images over here and you can drop the files. Putting it in here. I'm telling Bolt that I added the images and that originally they had set it to be cat, dog, bird, rabbit as the selection, but I wanted it to be penguin, fox, bear, and elephant. It's updating the code to do just that for me. Now you can see that the asset that I created, the penguin, is showing up. For this, once I buy it and use it, I want the hunger level, the energy level, and the happiness level to all increase to 100%. I also wanted to change the mini game duration to just 5 seconds instead of 30 seconds because I don't want to wait that long to get my points. And I said that I'm increasing the points value and it should reflect in the wallet once I finish playing the game. Let's see if this changes once I'm done playing with this game. 25 points. It did change to 200 points. I'm going to buy this food and see that it increased everything to 100% and slowly decreasing down. Now I'm adding a pet changing functionality to the shop. See how you just have to work back and forth with the AI. Sometimes it takes a little bit of fixing, but that's entirely normal. I'm going to change to Fox. Still a few things that you could fix if you want to. You can add images of the premium food of sunglasses to make your pet look cool. And all of these is so doable. For example, let's generate a pair of sunglasses. This is what I would do in Adobe Fireflies. Take an image of sunglasses. For example, this. What I would do is screenshot it, then uploading it to Adobe Firefly as a reference of the composition, then generate. I'm going to do generate a fill, expand like this, generate, so you can fix it in Adobe Express. Now you have a pair of sunglasses and you would need images of the pet wearing sunglasses to add the penguin. Put it behind, put the glasses over here, download. It's not perfect, but you get the sense of what I'm trying to do, right? Once I have these glasses image, I can put it in here and I can tell Bolt then. I'm telling Bolt that I created these and uploaded them. They're going to implement the pet with the sunglasses feature. I'm going to buy the sunglasses to make my pet look cool and see how it changed to the fox wearing sunglasses. No, this is not perfect, but I'm just showcasing this really quickly to you today on how powerful this tool is and how fun it is to make a game with it. This looks good to me and I'm liking my progress. So I am going to deploy this now that I'm done. So I'm going to just click deploy. Deploying means you're hosting it on the website so other people can play with it. Now you have a URL to view this app. You can create an account or login. I logged in and basically this 
is where I'm starting from so I can start game. Make sure that things are working as expected for me. Let me just buy the sunglasses and now the penguin is here. If I spend money to buy the premium food and it changes to everything 100%, it's not perfect. There's a little bit of tweak that you have to do, but that's how easy to make a Neopets dupe. Obviously a very simplified MVP version, but you can prototype really quickly. You can add on more if you spend a lot more time on it. And that's it for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe to stay in touch for future videos. Thanks. Bye.